So here it is, the Mark Holcomb PRS SE. So I will start by going over some of the features of the guitar and talk about my feelings about them. Then I will do a pickup demo, which is one of my favorite things about this guitar, and then a quick playthrough. So starting with the headstock, which is your standard Paul Reed Smith headstock shape, I like that starting in 2017, the Paul Reed Smith logo signature was the big thing on the headstock. I think it gives it a more expensive look. The tuning machines are Paul Reed Smith house brand and they're non-locking. For a guitar that's meant to be played aggressively, change tunings often, and retails for a thousand bucks, I would have liked to see locking tuners. The truss rod uses a special truss rod adjustment tool. And it came with the guitar brand new, so if you get one second hand, make sure it either comes with it or you already have one because that's the only way you can adjust the truss rod. Every time I restrained the guitar, I had to adjust the truss rod. The neck is satin and it's, it's shreddy, but it's not thin like an Ibanez or a Music Man. Uh, I think it's very comfortable. There's binding on the neck with contrasting side dots, but again, more companies are going to Luminlay and I would have liked to see Luminlay on this guitar. The neck joint of the guitar is a set in neck and there's no relief or cutaway on the heel of the guitar. So when you stretch for the 24th fret, you kind of have to do that Gibson Les Paul stretch. The scale length is 25 and a half, which is a half an inch longer than your standard Paul Reed Smith scale length. And the tone knob pushes and pulls for split coil sounds. And for a guitar that's built to be well-rounded, I like to see the deviation from the three-way switch. As far as playing the guitar live, um, the bridge is very, very comfortable because of the rounded edges but it kind of sits like a slab on your body. There's a slight belly cut in the body of the guitar, but doesn't do anything functionally. Now I'd like to demo these pickups. These are Mark Holcomb Signature Seymour Duncan Alpha and Omega pickups. They provide a lot of string clarity, a lot of balance across the strings, and are very tight and aggressive and exciting sounding. Definitely my favorite thing about this guitar. So I'm going through the Axe Effects with a 5150 sim into a Mesa cab. So here we go. pickups to pickups that often share the other side of the stage to the Mark Holcomb signature and is often featured on this channel, the bare knuckle pickup Juggernauts. <laughs> Thank you. 
in conclusion, I think the guitar is okay. I really like the finish, and I really like the pickups, but I can put the pickups in almost any guitar. If you're a Paul Reed Smith fan and you carry the metal flag, then this is a no-brainer. Personally, I'm not a huge, huge fan of the Paul Reed Smith shape. When it comes to PRS, I really like the 513, which offers a very versatile and unique functionality while having the option of a very, very artistic top. But it doesn't gent. And to that respect, I'd rather have a Jackson Juggernaut Pro Series, which is around the same price point and offers a more aggressive look. Another controversial opinion is I know Mark plays these live, the SE models, which is awesome. That's really awesome. But I'd like to see a production proper Paul Reed Smith model, like a USA. The early version of this guitar with the arch top and the satin definitely appeals to my collector guitar enthusiast um, side. Not that I could afford that guitar, but I'd, I'd really like to see it, especially after we saw the seven string come to production this year. So let me know what you think, and please like and subscribe. That's it for this video.